guys, it's RC Optometry. Let's get straight into it. So a patient walks into your room for a routine eye exam. Everything's going pretty smoothly. Preliminary tests are normal, simple refraction. Then you measure IOP and what do you know? It's high. So you panic. Well, there's no need to. This video is going to provide you with a brief quick guide on how to manage this patient. To begin with, anything greater than 21 millimeters of mercury is considered to be high. All we need to do is find out why. The simplest check will be to measure central corneal thickness, CCT. If it's too thick, then the IOP may actually be overestimated and the patient's pressures may actually fall within a normal range. If all the tests we discuss are unremarkable, then problem solved. Your next easily eliminated differentials will be trauma. Has the patient had damage to the anterior chamber angle causing the aqueous to not flow as easily as it should? Then ask about drugs. Is the patient taking steroids? This could be simply a steroid responder. The next test will be to assess the anterior chamber angle. Check Van Herrick. If it's narrow, then you know there's not enough fluid flowing out. You need to send this patient off for a peripheral iridotomy to help allow the fluid to flow. You might want to ask these patients about signs of angle closure glaucoma. Are they seeing halos around lights? Are they getting headaches? Do they feel like they want to throw up? I'll discuss this in more detail in another video, but the point is you need to refer these patients. Next on the list will be primary open angle glaucoma. You need to look at the optic nerve head, check visual fields, ask about family history, pretty much do a full glaucoma workup. If there's no primary open angle, then you need to look for your secondary glaucomas. The easiest thing to do will be look at the iris on retroillumination. Is there slit-like iris defects? Then do gonio. Is there a buildup of pigment in the angle? We're trying to rule out pigment dispersion syndrome. Next, we'll be look at the lens itself. Is there any white flaky material on the lens? We're trying to rule out PXF or pseudoexfoliation syndrome. By this point, if all your testing's coming out normal and you're quite confused, then you need to consider ocular hypertension. You still need to do a risk analysis in this case because the pressure may still need to be reduced. I'll finish off on one last quick note. If the IOP is any higher than 30 millimeters of mercury, this patient needs to be treated as they have a risk of central retinal vein occlusion. That's a very brief outline. Hope it helped. For more videos, please like and subscribe and leave video suggestions in the comments below. Thanks.